Okay, so I'm here with Roy Creel. He's my new neighbor, and uh, we just did a dino tune today. And I'm just gonna uh, tell, let you tell him, a, let uh, Roy tell you a little bit about that. Okay, what you saw that we tested today uh, was a vintage four-cylinder engine that I run in land speed racing. It's a special class for 1935 and earlier vintage four-cylinder engines. There's a, a cubic inch displacement limit of 220 inches. And what we did today was basically uh, adjust the timing and try to find it exactly what timing the engine likes the best. We, uh, we pulled about 325 horsepower after I got the timing set. It'll make more horsepower than that, but uh, we weren't doing a horsepower check or trying to set any horsepower records. The main thing was to see where the leaks are, and there always are some, and get that timing set at the right place. So that, that was the, uh, the objective of the endeavor today. The engine is a, a Model B Ford. They made Model Bs from 1932 to 1934, and then they used them in some other applications a little later than that. But they were in cars until 1934 as a, an option. The Model B is very similar to the Model A. It has a larger crankshaft bearing surfaces in it. That's the, the chief difference. It's got a two-inch crankshaft with uh, inch and seven-eighths rod bearings in it. This engine you see here and the class that I run in requires that you use an original block with a, a few specified modifications allowed. Everything else on the engine you saw here today was uh, handmade. And made by you, or well, my, designed by, by me, you. Or, or or I had somebody build it to my specifications. It has a five main bearing crankshaft in it, and uh, Carrillo rods, and the head is a head that I uh, picked up and uh, followed through with a design that a guy named Bruce Johnson started uh, back in the 80s. It's a four valve head. Uh, four valve per cylinder, and it's basically a copy of an offy head, with a uh, ultimately with a shallow chamber. I don't have my notes here, but I made uh, eight different versions of that head over the years, or eight. I made uh, seven versions, and uh, the eight were were created. I made seven of the eight, and I went back to number seven because that was the one that turned out to be the best. Anyway, it's CNC ported and um, right now there's two of those heads in existence. Uh, the one I finished up on this engine and another spare one that I have that's you know, it's incomplete. So. And we look forward to uh, running it at El Mirage in Bonneville this year, hoping for the best. So is it a carburetor or a fuel injection? No, it has mechanical fuel injection, normally aspirated on gasoline. Mm -hmm. And so you can expect what kind of horsepower when you're all said and done with it? Well, I think it'll make a 400 horsepower when we're done. And how, how much, what's displacement on it? This one is actually 216 inches. Which is kind of, you, you said the limit is like 220? 220, yeah. 220? Yeah. So you can make the horsepower, but getting the... The rest of the engine to live is sometimes difficult. So. And what kind of RPMs does it turn? Uh, the max I ever run is 7,000. I'm hoping it'll make 400 horsepower at about 6,800. Okay. That's on uh, just race gas or pump gas? No, race gas. Race gas. Not pump gas. <clears throat> it has 13 and a half to one compression, so you wouldn't like pump gas. Right. And and so the what the motor goes in the car exactly? What can you explain what that is? Well, I have three different cars that I I run, or I own three different cars. But I've been running a '34 coupe that runs in the altered and a competition coupe class. And the whole reason for this particular endeavor, so to speak, is I run it in that class to test and work the bugs out of this engine. Ultimately, that engine is going to go in a streamliner, and we're looking for 240 miles an hour. We went 218 miles an hour back in 1989 on a, a two-valve single-cam head. So 
uh, 240 is not out of the question. We just need to get the bugs working out. So you're mostly doing land speed stuff. Right, that's yeah. all I do. And Bonneville, salt flat. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to add about uh, the car itself? Do you have a lot to do with the car, or is it mostly just the engine? Well, I built the car in, in the early 80s. Uh, I have a, a uh, Streamliner Lakester, which has to do with whether you put wheel covers on it or not, or fenders, so to speak. And I have a Roadster, which is out on loan. And I built this car. It's uh, got a chop top on it. I should probably give you a picture to show or something. Sure, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's been a good test bed for the engines. Hmm. I run other engines in it. Flat, flathead four-cylinder engines. In it. What's the next uh, date? Then what? What's your deadline? What are you shooting for next? Well, at El Mirage Dry <coughs> Lake, the SCTA puts on six events. The first one is in May, May, June, July, then September, October, and November. So you know we're turning up for the May event. Okay. So that's what we're looking forward to. Bonneville is in August, and sometimes we have an event in October. Okay. Very good. Well. Thanks for the information, Roy. Great. <laughs> Thank you.